Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from the summer 2019 Texas Reptile Expo. I'm here with one of my favorite vendors, S&S Exotics, which is based out of Houston. So I'm with Suzette, of course, the beautiful, fantastic Suzette. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I absolutely love playing with her stuff because they have an amazing diverse selection of animals. They're kind of famous for their small mammals. They do birds, reptiles, rodents, and obviously the occasional very special critter. Tell us about this guy. This is a three-week-old six-banded armadillo, and originally they come from South America. And right now you can see he doesn't even have his eyes open. He's being bottle raised. Yeah. So he's gonna be with me for a little while before he weans out. So how hard is it to be a full-time mom to these guys and then sell them off to a, a permanent forever home? It's hard because like right now I'll spend every two hours bottle feeding yes. them overnight. So I'll be up all night long for the next three to four weeks. And then after he wanes out a little bit, then I'll find him a good home. So how fragile are they at this age? Very fragile because you have to feed them every two hours. And if he misses a schedule feeding, I mean, they could, there's no telling what would happen. Right. I mean, I mean they, they can kind of. They'll go downhill, like, you know, maybe, you know, their metabolism rate will go, right. you know. So we so, have to keep my, that's why he's kind of squirming now. Yeah. He, he's almost ready for his feeding. So tell me what kind of care an animal would have um, once they're to a more independent age. He actually will eat like a rodent block. He'll eat all kinds of fruits and vegetables and monkey biscuits and you name it, he'll end up eating it. So what type of personality and what type of housing would an animal like this need? They need uh, they need a big area and they like to dig, so you want to give them like a bunch of play sand and mm -hmm. dirt, and stuff that they can dig in and they can, uh, you know, just make them feel at home and make them tunnel like they would if they were ever out in the wild. This thing has never been in the wild because it's a captive bred baby, right. but they still have the instinct to do things that they would do in the wild. Now, this animal is still fairly soft and needs very special skin care. Do they still need that type of care when they grow up a little they bit? They do not. Okay. And like right now, you can see how he's got all the little, little dry skin. Uh -huh. So we push, put a special oil on him. And then it keeps the skin where it doesn't get real hard. Mm. And it'd be like somebody having like a sunburn. Yeah. And they're peeling. Mm -hmm. So you have to keep it moist so it actually will peel off good. Mm, okay. So what color? Obviously he's almost, it looks almost like prenatal now. What color are these when he's they He's actually going to get like an orangish red color. Mm. Almost like a little darker than what your, your shirt, your okay. uh, dress is. It, it'll get like that color. And how large and what's their lifespan? They're going to live about 20 years in captivity. And then full grown, he's going to get about probably eight inches full grown. Now, um, can they curl up completely? They do. Oh, that's they so do. cool. And they'll do that as a defense, like when they get bigger. Uh huh. They'll actually roll up and uh -huh. everything. And that way, you know, a predator couldn't get them. Right. And this right now is real soft, mm -hmm. but it's going to get really hard. Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing our brand new little baby with us. This is little EJ, so, so you remember him. <laughs> so, um, uh, s, s travels to a lot of shows. Uh, what shows do you guys often show up at? We do, of course, Bonnie's Texas Reptile Expo, and then we do like the Repticon Reptile shows and the Herp shows. <laughs> and. And we do a lot of like out of state shows that aren't even like affiliated with any of them right. in like Tennessee mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And uh, of course they have an amazing shop open in Houston that is even if you never want to buy an animal, go in there and look around. It's incredible. And I guarantee you, you're going to find something for you that you're going to fall in love with. She's also very well known as a sugar glider authority. She actually has traveled to their native lands and seen the way they live in the wild. And um, so if you're looking for a sugar glider breeder, I would highly encourage you to uh, check out their website. Beautiful babies. They're all... 
um, very well socialized and healthy, and I just love SNS Exotics. And we appreciate you, oh. and we love everything that you do. Oh, thank you. Well, um, I hope you guys enjoyed meeting little EJ, and maybe you might get to see some of her other special little babies today, too. Hope you guys like this one, and we'll see you next time. So, baby, if you want.